Museum. Thank you for having me. Founded by Ed Jeffers. He's well known all over the place. What we have here, everything in this room except uh, that blue chair over there and a couple back here are prior to 1900. All your back bars go into the 1880s. These chairs over here are in the 1830s and 40s. As you can see, they don't, uh, they're pretty stationary. Hydraulics didn't come along until the 1880s. Uh, these three or four chairs here have hydraulics in them. So. And these are Koken? Are these uh, Koken so, as well? Uh, there's George Archer chair. Okay. Um, some of them are Burning Haas. Uh, Koken. Uh, here's a Koken chair here. Uh, also, what we have here is the, uh, the clippers. The man manual clippers. Okay. Oster came around and more. He took this movable arm and put it in into this and hooked it up like to a Dremel. So your first electric clippers uh, ran as well as the, you did on the hand. Okay. Wow. Because the same system, but just added a motor to it. Added a motor. And to that it. was that was Wall. So, um, the first well, company. Well, uh, Oster did it. Moore did it, and Wall. Okay. Okay. But uh, you, as you can see, you could get carpal tunnel. Yes. Well, <laughs> this way, it it cut two hair and pulled the other ten out. That's right. Okay. Well, the new the new electric ones did basically the same because they ran so slow. Unlike the new uh, uh, clippers that have fifty thousand RPMs or right. something. Okay. These did not. You okay. know, maybe ten thousand, five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so it was still slow, basically. It was very slow. Okay. okay. Uh, here's a typical sink. Uh, as you can see, it's not cut out. You'd stick your head in there to have your hair washed. Mm -hmm. uh, this goes back to the 18th. And this is the hose. Yeah, that's the hose that you would take off okay. and, and, and spray the spray the hair. Okay. Have any idea what this is? A hair dryer, maybe. No, no, it's not a hair dryer. A uh, hair stimulator. It's a steamer. Steamer, okay. Okay. You put water back here, it steams, and you can get in here on the sides and, and, and massage. massage. And massage the guys here. Okay, it's here on, whatever it is. Okay. Very, uh, well, I would say that goes back to the 20s, 20s okay. and 30s. Okay. Okay. Here's another stimulator. <laughs> Two of the cups are missing. Uh -huh. This thing weighs about three pounds, three or four pounds. Wow. Can you imagine sticking that on your head and turning it on and you know, you knock yourself? <laughs> you, you're supposed to be doing that to get an extra tip. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I like this just better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, as you can see, all the chairs have spit tunes. That was uh, pretty common back in the 1800s. A lot of people chewed tobacco and uh, wooden floors. They didn't want any. Tobacco juice. Uh -huh. So you mean this here? Yeah, that's a spittoon or okay. a cuspidor. These brass. And they would hold them or? No, no, no. They'd, they'd lay them on the floor and then, and then the guys spit. What about when they missed? Well, <laughs> <laughs> then you had it on the floor. Then you had another problem. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay. But, uh, uh, as you can see, there's uh, uh, also a uh, shoe shine. Shoe shine. Every shop, all the barber shops had uh, full service. Uh, they were uh, they were a gathering spot for people, okay. And uh, so they'd hang out there and get your shoes shine, talk. Some of them even had the mail and everything there, and, uh, uh, especially in the small towns where you only had about ten or twelve boxes or something. But uh, was there a separate shoe shine guy? 